Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another video of mine. Now you might have seen by the thumbnail that this video is going to be top 10 over 30s in the league. This was actually recommended by my son, actually, to be fair to him. He's only 10 and I thought it was a great idea, to be fair. So I said I'd do it. Rob is focusing on the younger players, etc. But I'd uh, be interested to look at the players that are over 30 in the league. Now, I didn't count players that are actually 30 in the league itself um, because last season... You know, some of them might have been 29, etc. So you have to be over 30. And really, I'm going to base it on the last year or two, more or less. So, you know, someone's in the list um, further down or higher up than you think should be the case. It's mainly how good they are now as opposed to maybe how good they were, you know, four or five years ago or whatever. We'll get straight into it, guys, anyway. So number 10, guys, we've got Dane Massey. Now, Dane Massey's 33 years of age. Uh, he's been around the league a long time. Very successful period, of course, at Dundalk. But uh, came in last year at Drotida and actually did very well. He changed position as such. Uh, a couple of games at left back, but mainly played as a centre-back in a three-man defence. And, uh, you know, it worked very well. Now, he did lose his place a little bit later on in the season, but a massive influence on in the dressing room at Drotida as well. Um Scored a couple of cracking free kicks as well. One against Finn Harps, uh, one against St. Patrick's Athletic as well. The Harps one in particular was a last-minute winner. Um, so Dave Massey, yeah, I mean, is, he's 34 uh, next season for a part of next season anyway. But she'll, uh, he's still going strong. I can see another few seasons left in Dane, so he comes in at number 10. Number nine of Ronan Finn of Shamrock Rovers, 34 years of age, Ronan. Multifunctional in the last few years. He was excellent in 2019, really, really good 2019, mainly from the right wing back position. Uh, for Rovers last season, didn't start as many games, but contributed hugely, um, mainly played in centre midfield, which is his main position when he came into the team. I think occasionally he might have been right wing back, but uh, Roland's still going strong, very good player in the league, as we know, for a long, long time. And um, yeah, he's still a valuable member of the Shamrock Rovers squad and uh, I'm sure he'll be used um, from the bench and start games when other players are unavailable, I suppose. We've still got a lot of calls. You've the likes of Jack Byrne and Mandrew and O'Neill in the middle of the park. Uh, he will get games, so I've no doubt about that. But uh, yeah, Ron Finn, number nine, still going very strong. Number eight was an interesting one because I put in Adam Foley at number eight. He's 32 years of age, eight goals last season, but only one goal since June. He started off the league like a house on fire, didn't he? At, at Finn Harps, obviously, last year as we draw the now. And um, brilliant first half of the season. Not much going in the second half of the season. Was in and out of the team, mainly out of the team. Second half of the season, I think um, he wanted to leave, actually, during the summer. And I think um, there might have been a little bit of friction between him and Ollie in that regard. And we didn't see the best of him. But, um, yeah, he's 32, but uh, still has got blind and pace. You can see that last year, his pace is very strong. Getting behind the fence to score goals. And uh, he could be an excellent sign for Drotted if we see more of that for the full season. But uh, definitely, definitely deserves to be on the list at number eight. Number seven is a current Finn Harps player, and that's David Webster. David is 32 years of age. Very, very solid defender. Very strong. Seems to have found... Um, his mojo, I suppose, up at Finn Harps. He's very good last season, often played centre back, often played right back as well. Um, and obviously signed up again for this season for Finn Harps, which is excellent for them because they've lost a lot of very important players. So very important that he signed back with them. And um, yeah, he suits, I think, uh, the way to try and play the game. Um, you know, a lot of people talked about Siddiqui, very good centre back, don't get me wrong. But um, I think Webster actually had a better season last season. I think. For the consistency of last season for Harps, he was in the top three players, to be honest with you. Uh, when you look at the season on a whole, you know, there was no real highs and real lows with him. It was just good throughout the season. And uh, yeah, David Webster coming in at number seven. Now, number six, uh, another draw to player, and that's Gary Deegan. Gary Deegan's 34. Uh, the season before, half season at Shelburne. Um, I thought he did quite well at the start. Um, probably struggled a little bit in the second half of the half season if you like but so did the most of Shelburne side uh, to be fair and um, yeah, obviously Tim Clancy brought him in to draw it and I thought he was really good last year in the middle of the park and um, it's a tough position the middle of the park as you get older as well like it's slightly easier in some other positions but um, he's in the engine room there and he's, he shows great leadership and um, you know he can move very well as well to be fair still 
um, and was well able to compete at the level. And uh, as I said, very good last season. Some games, he was absolutely brilliant in that I've seen as well. And um, I've no doubt going into the new season, um, you know, Gary Deegan will maintain those levels. And number five, they have gone for Alan Manis. And Alan Manis is 39 years of age. Excellent goalkeeper. Absolutely brilliant in the half season. Good last season as well. Uh, people say there were one or two mistakes, but that's because they're not used to Manus and making mistakes in games. Uh, you know, not too many mistakes, mind you. Still very good, very solid. Very good on the floor, contributing that way. Uh, but very solid coming in at number five and uh, still has a lot to give uh, Shamrock Rovers, in my opinion. Number four, uh, Ian Birmingham down at 32. And uh, Ian rolled back the years a little bit last season. Um, he went through a couple of years. 2019, he wasn't bad either, to be fair. Went through a few years like Pats did in many ways. Maybe there was a feeling of going through the motions a little bit, but excellent last season for Pats as a left back. Uh, was able to get up and down reasonably well as well. Um, you know, in the past, he was... You know, he had the engine to get up and down, but he, he could do it last season more from experience in a clever way and making sure he wasn't getting caught out of position or getting forward too much and tiring himself out. But um, a player that, yeah, performed very well for Pats last season, I thought. He performed better than I thought he would, to be honest with you. Uh, 32, so he's not the oldest uh, of players in their 30s, but he's played football for so long and at left back and he's up and down, up and down. Um, it's a tough position. Um, but again, he was excellent last year, very professional, and I think he can be, he can do the same for pass this season. Wouldn't be surprised seeing him a bit like Massey um, was a draw down playing the back three often for pass as we go into this season. But yeah, Ian Birmingham at number four. Number three, of have got for R- uh, Rory Gaffney, rather, as Shamrock Rovers, 32 years of age. Uh, came in in 2000 and, where are we, the year is COVID, 20. But um, last year really kicked on, I think, 12 goals. Uh, last season for Rory in all competitions, but uh, led the line very well, um, could hold it up, could run the channels, and obviously the 12 goals helps a lot as well. So he was a key component for Shamrock Rovers last season, and uh, the way Shamrock Rovers played, people say they need a striker. They don't necessarily need someone who's going to bank 25 goals, because if you've got four or five players who are going to get over 10 goals, Perfect. And that's what Rory provides. But he, he was very important in their build-up play as well and a very, very, very hard worker. So Rory Gaffney at number three. Now, number two, we're going up to Derry now and Daniel Lafferty. Daniel's 32 years of age. In the half season, actually, when he played the Shamrock Rovers in that first title win, by the way, he, he was very good, actually. Got a couple of goals, key goals for them as well. Uh, continued that at Derry, actually. Playing in the wing-back role as well at Derry really suits him as he did when he played for Rovers, but really does suit him. He scored five goals last season from wing-back, uh, which was very good. Hard to believe the other ring, uh, wing-back at Derry Ronan and Boyce scored more. So it could be an interesting competition between them two this season. Um, but yeah, score five goals is very important to the system of play. Um, it's still very athletic, actually. He's very athletic still. Um, you know, the pace hasn't really slowed down at all. And, um, you know, going into next season, he's another player over 30 to watch, but really, really good the last couple of seasons there, I have to say. Uh, and number one, you might have guessed it. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. I went for Greg Bulger, 33 years of age, again in central midfield, and a harder position to play in, particularly um, when you're getting over 30, etc. Uh, and especially the way he plays, a bit like Deegan in that sense as well, closing down. Uh, great leadership from, from Bulger as well. Sets the team up and attacks. Um, I think one of the key things with him last year with Sligo was um, when he was missing, uh, Sligo struggled badly and the win percentage when he was in the team or when he wasn't in the team is very, very low. Absolutely huge loss. And that'll be concerned. Sligo, I suppose, picked up a few injuries as the season went on. So they'd be hoping to keep him fairly fit throughout the season because when he was fit, he was absolutely brilliant. And uh, <clears throat> I see him being a key player, Sligo Rovers, as the season goes, as we get into the following season as well. So let me know, guys, what you think of the comments. Just go through the players again. Number 10, be Dame Massey. Number 9, Roman Finn. Number 8, Adam Foley. Number 7, David Webster. Number 6, Gary Deegan. Number 5, Alan Manis. Number 4, Ian Birmingham. Number 3, Rory Gaffney. Number 2, Daniel Lafferty. And number 1, Craig Bolter. Let me know what you think of the list generally, guys. We're also talking about young players 
uh, on the channel and that, etc. But um, look, there's good experience, all the players in the league as well. Um, anyone who's left out as well, throw them in the comments, guys. Um, uh, and let me know what you think overall. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit, the, hit that bell notification button so it keeps you up to date with any uploads we may do. And like the video if you like the content. And have a good day. Thank you.